Hello all, Zox here. With 4.2 patch out just recently, there's been some changes some of you may or may not be aware of, so I just want to make a quick video to show you some of those changes. First change we're going to do and talk about is, if you look at your deck list, you see you've got 18 now, um, where you only had 9 before. So, with that in mind, if you look, they've added the basic decks for you already for each specific class, for all 9 classes. Hence where you get 19. First of all, we'll go to this basic hunter, okay? As you can look and see at these cards, if I right click on this card, it takes me to where those cards are and it shows that I have a limit of 2. Now anytime you want to know if it's a basic card or something that's a standard card, if it has no common white, blue, or epic, or legendary little dot, then it's a it's something that is everyone gets it's automatic. Alright? So those are just your your like war golem, alright? That's just something that you cannot create, it's uncraftable, that kind of thing. If you go through and delete all these basic ones, alright, and then you go to make a new deck, and you want to make a new, let's say, hunter. When you choose your hunter, so they have the recipes, and each class has this, so all you got to do is delete the deck that's listed. So, classic hunter, alright, it says missing cards will help you replace them. So, out of this deck that's already been made, pre-made by Blizzard. There's Ragnaros that I do not have. This is my Asia server by the way. Ragnaros I do not have and Snake Trap I do not have. You know you do not have Snake Trap and Ragnaros, right? So you just, if you decide yes, I like the way this deck looks, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and choose it. When you choose it, alright, it'll say replace missing card. So when you click on it, replace this card. It shows you that you're replacing Snake Trap or one of these two. So it wants you to choose whatever one you want. And then Ragnaros, it says these would be your cards that you want to choose for that. Okay? So basically there's your recipes. Each each one will have a each class will have its own recipe choices. Three plus a custom. So when you go in to make it, you can choose from all these warrior recipes. Okay. All these warrior recipes. And you can see which cards need replaced. And take care of it. So let's say for example. Let's say for example we're gonna make uh, a mage deck. We're going to do a custom mage deck. We're going to put a hobgoblin in there, okay? Whenever you play a one attack minion, give it 2-2. Two, two. Well, instead of going through every single page and finding ones that you think are one attack without having them all memorized, you can just put attack colon one hit enter and now boom all minions that you have that have one attack okay so that you can make your goblin deck and you can just go through and choose them okay so the one to go quickly through it attack health Mana and owned one. These are all the cards that I own only one of. Right? And it lists your goldens too. So yes, I have two light wardens. Okay, but one is golden and one is standard. Non-golden. Right? So it will show you all the ones that you have one of. If you want to have ones that you have, you can also type in here, extra, right? Now, the reason these show up as extra, why? Because you actually do have more than two, right? Anything that has more than two is considered extra. Okay, so 
there's a golden common, so it's going to show me all the golden commons that I have in the game, which are not very many. Anything that's new, obviously I don't have any, otherwise it would show them, but no new cards. So you can search for golden, you can search for extra cards, you can search for um, mana three, okay, anything that costs three mana. Uh, six, okay, so everything with six health, another thing that you can do is search for anything with seven or more health, so you put a seven plus, or you can do seven or less health, right? Not that you'd want to, but you can also do that with mana, um, extras, you know, that kind of thing. So 7 plus health. Anything that's got more than 7 health or higher is going to show up. So it, gave you, it gives you a lot more customization as to what you want to search and makes it a little bit more efficient to go ahead and do that. So um, with that being said, there's also, um, if you look here, artists. All right, you can search by artist. If there's a specific artist or graphics or card that you like, you can look at that and say, okay, you know, I want to search for an artist. So you type artist colon nut and all the ones that he has created will come up so that you can see those. I believe that covers everything. Um, so there's mana, artist, goldens, um, new, extra um, missing also you can put in missing so if there's certain cards that you do not have by typing missing but you see it didn't do anything so I have all cards no you have to be in crafting mode okay so now it will show you all the missing cards, right? So what all cards do I have missing? And there they are. All right, so I hope that helps uh, give you a little bit of an idea. So, um, so you can do attack, health, mana, Owned, extras, goldens, missing, new. Um, and you can also search one other thing that I will show you, uh, give you an example. Another search. So let's say you want to search attack minions and you only want minions with attacks between three and six. Okay? So it's in crafting mode still, but now you can see all the cards that you have that have at least three attack so they only show up with three so you only want three to six instead of three plus you can also do it that way so just a quick video to show you guys a little bit of the updates from the new patch that um, just released and I hope that has been helpful for you go ahead and comment like thumbs up subscribe and uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and Zox, out. <laughs>